I would like to give one more example for neutralization reaction. Say for example, I am taking a weak acid, acetic acid aqueous, it's a weak acid, reacts with a strong base that is barium hydroxide, strong base aqueous to give a salt that is barium acetate taken twice CH3 COO BA barium acetate plus that is water aqueous water liquid balance the equation there are two acetates so take two over here there are uh, actually there are two oxygens but you have only one oxygen here the reaction is balanced and also here yeah, sufficient amount of energy is also released so it's an exothermic reaction so these two examples will give you the complete understanding of the neutralization reaction taking place between an acid and a base now if you go for the other properties of the neutralization reaction you can also take the metal oxide you can also take that is the next case of the neutralization reaction a metal oxide other properties of acids for example metal oxide if it reacts with acid yes definitely it is going to give a metal what is the product you are going to get when a metal oxide reacts with an acid suppose I am taking cupric oxide cupric oxide as a solid reacts with an acid HCl aqueous so you get here metal oxide metal oxides always gives that is cupric chloride plus water balance the equation that means you are going to get salts salt and water cupric chloride is a salt aqueous and water is a liquid so that means we are able to understand that all metal oxides all metal oxides they are basic in nature if they are basic in nature if metal oxide is basic a metal oxide when it is reacting with an acid it will give a salt and uh, it liberates water but the same metal oxide solid if it is directly subjected to hydrolysis liquid it gives a base that is cupric hydroxide from this equation it is very clearly understood that all metal oxides all metal oxides they are bases metal oxides are basic in nature similarly just like how a metal oxide is reacting with an acid non metal oxide reacts with the base is a product obtained non metal oxide means the best example is carbon oxide gas if it is a base we take calcium hydroxide when a base reacts with a non metal oxide it can give salt calcium carbonate aqueous plus calcium carbonate aqueous plus h2o liquid i repeat similarly if you take the carbon dioxide which is a non metal oxide non metal oxide gas reacts with the that is subjected to hydrolysis it gives that is h2co3 h2co3 aqueous it's an acid it means all non metal oxides are therefore acidic in nature so all non metal oxides all non metal oxides they are acidic in nature all metal oxides all metal oxide they are basic in nature and uh, all metal oxides all metal oxides all metal oxides when they react with acids they give salts 
they give salt. Similarly, all non metal oxides also if they react with bases likewise they also give they also give that is salts these four generalizations are very very important for you to understand the concepts of acids and bases